Hi friends, welcome back to LGF. So till now we completed the last time in the last video lecture we have seen the steady state error. Now I think the steady state error concept is clear. EAS is nothing but RS1 plus GS. Definitely here HS is 1. This is for the unity feedback we calculated. Unity feedback. Correct. So this is the formula. This is the error. If I'll talk about the steady state error, this error will become limit s tends to zero s into es. Okay. So this is the steady state error. We have seen the ready-made formulas for uh, three input signals. Uh, we have seen for unit step ramp and uh, parabola correct for the ramp so direct steady state formula was 1 divided by 1 plus kp kp is the positional constant where the value of kp is limit s tends to 0 uh, gs correct and the ready made formula for the input ramp function 1 sorry a divided by kv Correct, where k p is the velocity error constant whose value is given by limit s tends to 0 s into g s. Okay, if I'll talk about the parabola, the steady state error is given by a divided by k a. k is the acceleration velo uh, error constant whose value is given by limit s tends to 0 s square g s. I hope it's clear to you. Okay. So today we'll see the application of this. We'll see problem based on this. Correct. So let me start the session. So this is the problem given. Find out the steady state error to the unity feedback. They mentioned the unity feedback. Okay. The GS of the system is given 10 s plus 1 divided by s square s plus 2 s plus 10. If someone will ask what is the type. So definitely type is 2 type of this system is 2. Why? Because this is the GS open loop transfer function given and what about the order? Order is 1, 2, 3, 4. Order is 4. Okay. So I have to find the steady state error for the unity feedback system whose transfer function is given this and the input is given RT is equal to 10 5T plus T square by 2. Now in two ways we can solve this problem. One by ready-made formula and one by the general formula. What is the general general formula for steady state error? Its limit s tends to zero. Es into s also, isn't it? Is that clear to you? So to get the values or to get the output by this formula, you need es es right. But your ES means your input or RS I can take it. Sorry, this is RS. So you have to find out the transfer from sorry uh, Laplace transform of this. It will be 10 by S plus 5 by S square. Correct. And uh, for this if you will find out it will be 2 factorial 2 into S cube. So this is 1 by S cube. So this is your input. Now put your input over here. Limit. Oh sorry. Yes. This was the ES. Whose value was over here. I can replace this by RS1 plus GS. Correct. So limit S tends to 0. S into what is your RS. Your RS is 10 by S plus 5 by S square plus 1 by s cube divide by 1 plus this gs is given over here 10 s plus 1 and uh, s square s plus 2 s plus 10 and all correct so when you will solve this now you can easily solve this you can put s equal to 0 in this equation or and you will get over here your steady state error is nothing but 2. This is our answer. So this is 
one of the methods by that you can do this another method is to use the ready-made formula C over here this is unit step this is ramp okay the magnitude of this unit step is 10 okay and this is parabola given over here right so I have the ready-made formula for all these three input signals so just to check it gs is given this belong to the system correct s plus 1 divide by s square s plus 2 s plus 10 so the type of the system is given type of the system is given to to this system you are going to apply this input okay yes no problem so if you will observe this input for the unit step case type is greater than input and in the last class we have discussed about this when type will be greater than input you will get the zero okay so for this two one and two type is greater than input so for the two cases I'll get zero zero correct this is the first case for unit step this is the second case for rim in both cases the type is greater than input so in both cases I'll get the zero in the third case this is the parabola third case in the third case type is equal to input so in the last class we studied that in this case we'll get some constant now I had to you know apply the formula of parabola parabola steady state error formula now is uh, you know a divided by k a you know very well a is given over here this is one your k a is limit s tends to zero s square into g s g s is the this entire thing over here this s square will cancel out this s square when you will put the value zero you will get k is nothing but 10 divided by 2 into 10 correct so this is nothing but 2 into 10 this will go up over here so finally you are getting 2 so these are the two ways by which you can solve this problem I hope it's clear to you now let's come to the second one this is very easy problem in which they're asking find out the steady state error for the given unity feedback unity feedback will be mentioned always gas is given 10 divided by s s plus 5 unity feedback means hs is 1 over here you have to find the steady state error for these inputs 10 ut 10 t ut 10 t square ut this one and this one okay so by ready made formula I'll find out the steady state error first I'll check over here type is 1 correct type is 1 okay so I'll check if type is greater than input always the condition is, is t is greater than i means input you will get 0 if t is less than input you will get let's take it input if type is less than input you will get infinity if type is equal to input you will get some constant okay so uh, okay let's come over here I'll take the first one the first one is 10 ut what is the input this is the unit step I can take it 0 type of the system is 1 type is greater than 0 so for this you will get 0 is it clear now for the second the type of the system is 1 input of the system is also 1 why 1 because this is t u t I am considering the time power over here correct so t equal to 1 input equal to 1 means both are same both are same I'll get some constant so I have to which uh, I, I have to use which formula the formula for ramp function the formula of the steady state of the ramp function 
was we have seen a divided by a uh, v k v is the velocity error constant where k v we have seen k v was limit s tends to zero s into g s g s is given over here ten s s plus five okay so over here put the value s equal to zero this s will cancel out this s you will get ten divided by five okay now what is your a your a is ten what is your k v your k v is two what you are getting you are getting five where well, student will make mistake over here they will not keep a equal to then 10 they will directly take it one so i'll get the wrong answer okay so be careful now let's come to the third one the third one so second one is the clear here i got the error is five let's come to the third one now in the third case the type is less than input the type is less than input so definitely in this case you'll get infinity over here you will get infinity is it clear to you so let's come to the fourth one the fourth one is in this case you are getting one plus your input signal is one plus t u t so for this part though this is the unit step part we'll get zero and for this part i'll get this one means a by k v correct a is one when you will find out the k v so you will get it two we already find over here the value of this is two so you will get 0.5 over here so finally 0 plus 0.5 0 plus 0.5 you will get 0.5 over here correct now the third case this is one given over here so i'm solving this over here only for this case you will get zero for this case definitely will get some constant let's let, let's take k and for this case you will find out infinity so overall you will get infinity i hope it's clear to you okay now let's come to the third problem so let's take this problem everything is given gs is given and this is unity feedback only okay your gs is given like this i have to find out the steady state error steady state error for these inputs correct so let me start it for this case uh here the type is 2 okay your type is 2 no problem so for the first case i'm talking about type is greater than input if type is greater than input you will get zero for the second case also or the second question the type is greater than uh, input so you will get over here zero in this case you will get some constant y because for the third case the type is equal to input so definitely you will get your steady state error constant over here so let's find it so this is the parabola function given over here so how you will find out error steady state error for the parabola is nothing but a divided by k a where k a is limit s tends to zero s square g s is it okay so when you will keep your g s over here this a square will cancel out this s okay let me write over here don't worry a square s plus 4 s plus 10 correct this will cancel out this and uh, you have to give s equal to a 0 so you'll get 1 divided by 4 into 10 so it's 1 by 40 so immediately what you will do a equal to 10 a, a equal to 10 over here this is and you got 1 by 40 your answer will be 400 suppose the same question came in the gate examination suppose you got the answer 400 let's take this was the one mark problem you solve this problem okay 
within 30 second you solve this you came out and you calculated one marks for this no you will lose your 0.33 marks because this is the wrong answer why this is the wrong answer while calculating I did not check it whether this is the standard parabola is given or not okay so this is not standard so standard format of the parabola is t square by 2 ut but here it's a t square ut so first convert this into standard format why because this formula is valid for the standard format for this formula we calculated for the standard parabola function your parabola over here is not given in the standard format so you have to convert first then you have to apply this formula so you'll get the correct answer so be careful okay good so let's convert it you have to multiply by 2 you have to divide by 2 t square ut so this is the standard format now okay so in this standard format your gain is 20 now this is t square by 2 ut so instead of 10 you will keep over here now 20 so you will get initially it's 10 no problem at all when you will keep this 20 by 1 by 40 you'll get 800 so 800 800 is your answer for this i hope it's clear to you okay now let's come to this one for the first signal you'll get zero for the second signal you'll get zero finally you'll get zero for this zero for this zero and for this first you'll convert into the standard format then you will calculate the error so you will get over here 80 okay please check it so finally 0 plus 0 plus 80 you'll get 80 i hope it's clear to you now next problem i'm giving to you people and i'm giving to challenge also i'll not provide the answer in this video i'll provide this answer in the next video but through this question i'm going to challenge you people please solve it and i'm saying 99 percent you will not get the correct answer okay after solving this please mention your answer in the comment if you are seriously you know studying the control system okay friends so this is the problem given over here we have to find the steady state error this is the unity feedback system gain is given g is equal to this these are the inputs these are the inputs and you have to calculate the steady state error so again I'm telling you this is the challenge to you people and I'm saying 99% you will not get the correct answer so you can think about this what is the importance of this problem correct now for the serious students I'm saying which are preparing continuously with me please provide the answer of this in the comment box the third one okay mention your answer in the comment so I'll get to know that who has solved this question correctly okay friends so the proper answer and all about the this third one I'll discuss in the next video okay okay fine so let's come to this concept very important how to nullify the noise effect if your noise is coming into the system you will get your output affected by that noise and if you want to remove the noise or nullify the effect of noise what you can do over the system output or the transfer function friends uh, I think two or three times we got the question from this this is the your system given this is the f if I'll consider this is the input this is output so this is the forward path given over here this is the closed loop given with unity feedback and this is noise is coming at the output stage and some part of the noise is feedback to the input stage also or uh, here mixing stage also so this is the very beautiful concept and the concept says if you want to nullify the noise effect you have to find out y is by ns so i can say this is the transfer function with respect to noise so you have to find out this and you have to equate this with zero correct means the transfer function or the output whatever you are getting by the noise should be equal to zero to nullify the noise effect is it clear 
so this is the concept i am telling over here i'll consider one problem so it will be clear to you okay so friend this is all about this class so in the next class we'll see the problems only okay only problems so for new updates you can subscribe the lgf and you can find us on the facebook for doubt solving we'll meet in the next till then take care and bye